Please make sure you read the manual thoroughly before installing this mount. Tool Check To install this product, you will need an electric drill, a 1 8 inch drill bit for wood stud installations, or a 5 16 inch masonry bit for solid concrete or concrete block installations, a half inch wrench or socket, a Phillips screwdriver, a level, a tape measure or ruler, a pencil, and an electronic stud finder. It's also a good idea to have an awl or small nail to verify stud locations. Parts Check Check carefully to make sure there are no missing or damaged parts. Depending on your installation, you may not need every part provided. If any parts are missing or damaged, contact customer service by calling 1-800-359-5520 to have the part sent directly to you. Step 1. Attach the wall plate to the wall. For help determining the proper height to install your mount, visit the SANUS website at www.sanus.com and locate the Height Finder tool on the left side of the home page. Simply enter your TV and mount information and Height Finder will calculate the optimum location to install your mount. Step 1-1. Wood Stud Mounting. Please note, for safe installation, the VLT-15 needs to be mounted to two wood studs 16 to 24 inches apart. Any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Use an electronic stud finder to locate and mark two studs. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking four hole locations with a pencil, two in the top row of slots and two in the bottom. At this time, it's a good idea to verify the stud location with an awl or thin nail. After you have verified the stud locations, use the 1 8 inch drill bit to drill four holes to a depth of two and a half inches. Attach the wall plate using the four lag bolts and lag bolt washers. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before tightening the bolts with the socket wrench. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step 1-2, solid concrete or concrete block mounting. Please note, for safe installation, any drywall or other wall covering material may not exceed 5 eighths an inch or 16 millimeters in thickness. Taking into consideration the overall size of your television, hold the wall plate against the wall to verify the correct height for your mount. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall before marking four hole locations with a pencil, two in the top row of slots and two in the bottom. Using the 5 16 inch masonry bit, pre-drill four holes to a depth of two and a half inches. Do not drill into the mortar between concrete blocks. Drilling into mortar can result in personal injury or property damage. Insert the concrete anchors into the wall with closed ends first. Make sure each anchor is seated completely flush with the concrete surface. Attach the wall plate using the four lag bolts. Use a level to ensure the wall plate is square with the wall. Then use a socket wrench to tighten each bolt until the bolt is pulled firmly against the wall plate. Do not over tighten the bolts. Step two, optimize the tilt. The VLT-15 brackets are configured to optimize the tilt of your TV depending on its thickness. To achieve optimal tilt, use a ruler to measure the thickness of your TV. If your TV thickness is greater than or equal to two inches or 50.8 millimeters thick, you do not need to adjust the tilt setting and may proceed to step three. If your TV thickness is less than two inches or 50.8 millimeters thick, you will need to adjust the tilt setting. Please continue with this step. To adjust the tilt setting, turn the tilt optimizer knobs clockwise approximately five complete rotations. Stop when you feel resistance. To ensure your TV is balanced, make sure to turn the tilt optimizer knobs on both monitor brackets the same number of rotations. Step three, attach the brackets to the back of your TV. First, determine the diameter of the screw your television requires. Hand thread a screw into the insert on the back of the TV. If you encounter any resistance, stop and select another screw diameter until you have the correct size. The long screws should only be used with the spacers or they could crack the monitor case. For TVs with a flat or unobstructed back, proceed to step 3-1. For TVs with an irregular or obstructed back, proceed to steps 3-2 and 3-3. If 
If you need extra space to accommodate cables, recesses, or protrusions, proceed to an installation option that uses spacers. Only standard configurations are shown. For special applications, please contact customer service. Please note, the bottoms of the brackets need to be installed as close as possible to the bottom of the TV to ensure that it tilts properly. Step 3-1. Attach the brackets to a TV with a flat or unobstructed back. Position the brackets as close to the top of the TV as possible. Thread the short screw through the appropriate flat washer, the bracket, and finally into the TV. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the screws. Step 3-2. Attach the brackets to a TV with an irregular or obstructed back. Position the brackets as close to the top of the TV as possible. Thread the long screw through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and into the bracket. Add a short spacer between the bracket and the television. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the screws. Step 3-3. Attach the brackets to a TV with an irregular or obstructed back. Position the brackets as close to the top of the TV as possible. Thread the long screw through the appropriate flat washer, the corresponding shoulder washer, and into the bracket. Add a long spacer between the bracket and the television. The shoulder washer will snap into the spacer when they are properly aligned. Make sure the brackets are vertically centered and level with each other before tightening the screws. Step 4. Hang the TV on the wall plate. Please note, before proceeding, verify that the wall plate and brackets are firmly fixed to the wall and the back of the television, respectively. With the help of an assistant, hook the brackets over the ridge on the top rail of the wall plate. Slide the TV left or right on the wall plate to its final position. Then gently let the brackets settle against the bottom of the wall plate. You will hear an audible click when the brackets are locked into place. Step 5. Tilt your TV. To tilt your TV downward, hold both sides close to the top and gently pull outward. To return the TV to its original position, push it forward toward the wall plate. Step 6. Adjust your TV height and level after installation with ProSet. Position a level above your TV and use an Allen wrench to tighten or loosen the bolt on the top of the bracket until your TV is perfectly positioned. Step 7. Engage the click stand for cable management. Please note, when the TV is in the click stand position, it is not securely locked into place. Assistance is recommended for this step. Step 7.1. To engage the click stand, pull the cords down and the TV out from the wall at the same time. The click stands will be released and will hold the brackets out from the wall to give you easier access to cables and the back of your TV. Step 7.2. To return the TV to its locked position on the wall plate, push the click stands up against the brackets and gently let the TV settle against the bottom of the wall plate. You will hear an audible click when the brackets are locked into place. You are now free to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Troubleshooting. Adjust the tilt setting. Please note, before you adjust the tilt setting, place your TV in the click stand position. When you are done adjusting, place your TV back in its secure position against the wall plate. If your TV easily tilts away from the wall, but is hard to push back toward the wall, turn the tilt optimizer knobs clockwise until your optimal tilt tension is achieved. If your TV is hard to tilt away from the wall, but is easy to push back toward the wall, turn the tilt optimizer knobs counterclockwise until your optimal tilt tension is achieved. You are now free to enjoy your newly mounted flat panel television. Thank you for your interest in the Sanus Vision Mount Flat Panel TV Wall Mount. If you have any problems with this product or have questions about installation, please do not return it to the store. Instead, contact customer service at 1-800-359-5520.